Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Linux command line tutorial for beginners and in this video we will learn about ls command. ls is a Linux shell command that lists directory contents of files and directories. Now first of all let's open our uh, terminal. I have uh, told you in the last video if you press Control alt t then it's going to open your terminal. So just press Control alt t to open the terminal. Now for the ls command you need to know some uh, syntax. So we all know that ls command can be uh, given by just writing ls on the terminal but it has some options. So these options will come in as a second argument. So we can say here comes the options right and then comes the file or directory name. So you can say here comes the file uh, or directory name. So you can write fd. Okay. So ls command comes with options first and then files and directory. Now I will show you what I mean by that. So first of all simple ls command will uh, you know work like this only which lists the uh, content of a directory. So we are uh, you know whenever we open the terminal we are in the home directory right. So we can just say ls and it will uh, show us the contents of our home directory which is uh, the desktop or uh, other document directory or uh, you know downloads or other directories. The same when you open this folder when you click here it will also open the home directory and you will be able to see all the contents uh, of the directories here. So these all the you know contents are here also. So whatever you see here will be listed here also. Okay. Now the second uh, option of using ls command is by using a directory uh, name. For example, we want to see the contents of uh, this document directory, right? So our document directory contains these two files. So how we can list uh, the content of this document directory? You can just write ls and then just write uh, documents and then press enter and it will list all the files which are there in the documents directory, right? In the same way, if you want to list out all the contents in the downloads folder, then I will just say ls downloads, okay? And press enter and it will show us the contents of the downloads folder, right? So simple. Now, if you want to uh, list out all the contents of our root folder, as I have shown you in the last video, you just need to give ls and then forward slash which is our root directory right and press enter and it will show us the content of our uh, root directory and in here you can verify this by going to this uh, computer option and you can match all the directories here and here right. Now uh, by default as I already uh, told you we uh, whenever we open the terminal we are in the home uh, you know directory right. Now home directory uh, you can just uh, give a pwd command and it will uh, give you what is your home directory and this is your home directory right? right? So you are presently in your home directory. Now in uh, uh, other terms when you uh, you know want to uh, list out the content of home directory you can just say ls and then give this uh, tilde symbol which will also give you the same content as ls will give you. So let's print out ls first but uh, let me clear all the commands which I have uh, given earlier. So to clear the terminal you just need to write clear here. So just write clear and press enter and it will clear your terminal and clear means your terminal will be you know blank but when you scroll up all the you know all the commands are there. So clear means it will just scroll down a little and it will uh, blank out your uh, terminal for you. So let's list out again. So ls so it gives me the content of my home directory and when in whenever you give ls and uh, this tilde symbol 
This tilde also means the home directory. So whenever you press enter, it will give you the same content. And whenever you do uh, ls and you can uh, type the path, pro uh, you know, by yourself. So home programming knowledge, which is my home directory once again. And when I press enter, it will give me the same uh, uh, directory structure, right? So there are three commands to list out uh, the same thing. One is ls, which will give you uh, all the contents of uh, your home directory when you open your terminal, right? And then ls tilde, which will be uh, also giving you the same content. So this tilde means the, your home directory. And also your uh, you can type the home directory file path, something like this. Now let's see some options. So whenever you want to go inside some directory as I have uh, done, so I will just say uh, ls document and uh, you can just list out anything, but you can just write ls and then dot dot. And this dot dot means you want to print out one step back directory structure, right? So whenever you press ls like this, it will give you programming knowledge because right now we are in home and then programming knowledge. So whenever we want to uh, print the content of home folder, then uh, we just need to give these two dad dots. It will uh, tell you just one folder back, right? If you want to go two folders back and you want to list out the content of uh, two folders back uh, content, then you can do dot dot and then forward slash and once again dot dot and then press enter and you can see it will give you your root directory, uh, you know, directories and file structure. So this will, uh, you know, go to the root directory because right now we are in home, uh, our home, uh, you know, you directory so whenever you go one step back you will be here in your home and one step back once again you will be in your root folder okay once again i will uh, clear the screen and then we will move forward now uh, there is uh, are some flags or options as i told you you can use with ls files so for example you give ls minus l and this means you want to list out all the files and directory in long format and when you press enter it will give you the listings in long format let me just uh, make it a little bit bigger and i will give it once again this command so clear and ls minus l and it gives you the you know content in long format long format means it will give you the details uh, who is your uh, you know user what are the rights for uh, this file and what is the size of your file and at which date this file was created and the time at which this file is created right now you may be wondering what is this dr wxr or what are all these things so you can see there these are the user rights so these users rights are separated by uh, this minus uh, symbol so the first uh, you know this thing which is drwxr so what does this mean so d means directory here r means read w means uh, write x means execute and once again r means write so these are the rights of the owner owner means so whoever is logged in so i can uh, you know read write execute this uh, directory which is desktop right second is the group right after this uh, minus right so execute and read are the rights of uh, the group and then the third is for the others which is only execute this directory okay so this is how you can uh, you know list out the long list of uh, files and directories now there is one more command which is ls minus a and this will give you the hidden files also so this will show you the hidden files also so just write ls minus a 
it will give you all the hidden files so these are dots and double dots and dot android and dot bash uh, history logout dot cache these are all the hidden files so hidden files in linux start from dot okay and they will not be shown here you can see these uh, dot files are uh, not here so whenever you give ls minus a it will give you all the hidden files right and then you can combine uh, the options so whenever you give ls minus a for uh, showing the hidden file and then uh, l for showing the long list then it will give you the hidden file and long list com combined okay so press enter it will give you long list and hidden file right something like this i will make it a little bit bigger so you can see it okay and i will uh, just clear the terminal once again now there are some more commands for example uh, you can sort your uh, directory by their size so i will just give ls minus l for long list and then when you give capital s it will sort your directory by their size so press enter and you can see the file which has uh, the biggest size is listed first and then uh, this it will go down as according to the size so whatever file has the lowest size it will be at the bottom and whatever files or directory has the biggest size it will go at the top right so you can sort it something like this now for example we want to uh, you know list something which uh, only we know the extension of so let's uh, list for example uh, you can just write ls once again we will uh, list out document list so just write documents and press enter and this document has uh, this uh, test.html and uh, test.cs file but for example i want to only list out all the html files which are there in the document folder so what I, I can do so i can just write ls and then i can just uh, write documents and then i will just give this while card which is asterisk so which uh, will be will search for all the prefix uh, which are there right and then i will just write dot and then i will just write html so this means i want to search for all the files which ends with dot html and then i will press enter and it only prints out this uh, test.html which is uh, correct because we wanted to print out only html files in the other way when you give uh, asterisk asterisk which means all the files so whatever all the extensions and all the names right and press enter and it will list out these two files which are there in your documents directory right now uh, you can also output uh, the content of your ls to a file so for example i want to uh, you know save all the result which i have listed here to some file so i will write ls minus for example l with capital s and then i want to save all the content to a file so i can just uh, give this angle bracket and then the name of the file which uh, i want to uh, you know save uh, these content to so i will just say out.txt by the way this out.txt is not existing here so it will create this out.txt and then fill all the result of ls command to this uh, you know out.txt file so this arrow means the direction of uh, the stream so it will uh, put all the content into the output right and press enter and you will be able to see we have uh, one new file created which is out.txt and when i open this file then it will uh, just you know fill all the result of ls uh, minus ls command to this output file right so you can do this so you can output the content of the file also to a file now the next command is to list out only the directories so for example you want to just list out only the directories you can just give uh, ls minus d and then you just need to give uh, asterisk and forward slash 
and it will list out all the directories directories okay so you can see it's not listing out the files but only the directories right so these are the all the important commands related to ls but this is not all ls uh, is uh, you know having more options and flags and if you want to know more about this ls command what you can do so you i will just clear the terminal first of all and to know more about this ls command you can just write man and then ls so man is uh, you know is a you can say the dictionary kind of a thing for your linux commands right and whenever you give this man command and then uh, give the command name which you want to see or uh, you want to take the reference of then when you when you click enter here it will give you all the options which you can uh, use with ls so you can see ls minus list directory content so this is the explanation of this and then you can see all the flags so i have shown you how to use minus a but i haven't shown you how to use minus b so you can uh, find out all the you know important information what this minus b does or what this minus c does or what this minus d does so d as i have shown you list directory entries right and uh, i have also shown you what l does so i have only shown you the important command related to ls but there is a big list uh, which you can uh, you know execute with this ls command so you just need to write m man and then ls and it will give you this kind of uh, interface which you can uh, see the reference right and you can see at the bottom whenever you press q or write quit then you uh, quit this uh, man terminal so i will just press q which will quit the uh, terminal right so just remember this man command if you want to take the reference of all the all the you know uh, references of a particular commands so i hope you have enjoyed this video please write comment subscribe and bye for